Tinkercad tips. We're still talking about 3D printed chain mail and flexible fabrics, and I wanted to show you another design that I came up with, and this one was actually a failure. But let me show you how I constructed this. If we look at each one of the links, there's a simple square post, and notice the post drops all the way to the work plane so that this will, will print. And then on the other three sides of, of each link, there are holes that those go through. So if we look at the fabric itself, you can see where those go through. Now on paper, this looks like it might work, but I'll show you in a moment where this was, turned out to be sort of an utter failure. So let me show you how I constructed this. We'll make a duplicate of this link. We'll slide it over here, and we'll start ungrouping pieces of it. And there's a lid on top that I made. And if we look at the elements here, again, these are just simple rectangles, simple rectangular holes that were put through it. And again, if we ungroup this, it's made up of um, a center hexagon that's a hole. So that was the basic idea. So let's jump over and I'll show you what this looks like printed and why it was such a failure. All right, here we have the 3D printed version of that design. And although it printed pretty well, um, there are some issues here. First off, not very flexible. Not a lot of give between each of the links. And the biggest failure with this is just because of the way it prints, and you'll see here one just fell off. That's one of those little tabs. These pieces, these extensions, just because of the way they printed, they're, they don't stick on there very good. They come off way too easily. So, this one, not a good design. Looks good, but does not functionally work the way that it should. You see here, as I move it about, more of these just keep falling off. So, nope. Not a good design. Let's move on to the next one, and I have several more to show you here.